Hello, and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on taking a SQL view and adding it to Acumatica. In some circumstances, you may have very complicated views of data that you need. For example, the ability to sum columns based on certain conditions and give you aggregate data. Those are things where SQL views really come in handy. Here's an example of just a standard view that I created, user AR Tran. And again, this is a standard one table view, so not very complicated. However, you can programmatically create any view that you want. But then once you have the view, you have the need to bring it into Acumatica so that you can view it in as a generic inquiry or use it in additional source code. So over here I have this user AR Tran. This is a view that I created. If I wanted to get this into Acumatica, there's a couple of things I would do here. First is I need to make sure that all of my columns have no spaces. So there's no aliases, for example, with spaces in them. I need to know what my view name is. I can see it right here. And then I go into Acumatica and I'll go to Customization Projects. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new project here. So to do that, we'll hit the plus button here. We'll give it a name. We'll just call it the name of the view. Now we'll jump into the project. And we'll go to our code section and add a new section of code. For the file template, it's going to be a new DAC. This is a data access class. So in Acumatica, we use the term data access class, and that defines the data set. We're going to call it exactly what the view name is. And I'm just going to go back to SQL to confirm it. AR capital Tran. and we'll select generate the members from the database. This is the fields. So when we click OK here, our source code comes up and Acumatic automatically reads the view and displays the names of the columns. So now what we can do is we can publish this. Remember that when you publish, don't do it during the day because you will kick users effectively out of the system. You won't necessarily kick the users out of the system, but you will uh, interrupt their work and they may lose a saved document or something. Okay, so now it started the website. It'll take a few seconds for the website to spin up. And now if we go to generic inquiries, create a brand new one. No need to give it a sitemap. Those are things you can do later. If you see our other video about creating a generic inquiry, um, these fields are all explained. Now if we go and look for our table, make sure you click on all records, not most used. You can see our user AR Tran table. And if you go to results grid, and we simply select all fields, you'll get all the fields that were part of your SQL view. So we'll save it and view the inquiry. And now you have a generic inquiry based on that SQL view. And again, it's very helpful to use a SQL view where you want to aggregate data in a column from many different tables based on certain conditions these are things you can't do readily in the generic inquiry without Acumatica source code. So instead of doing that, if you know your SQL, you could build out your SQL view, get the data that you want, but then still pull it into Acumatica for a nice view, and then even pull it into a dashboard so you get uh, good KPIs. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, the end of the video is our contact information. Feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you.